Get up. Let's get you back to your home, inmate. It's all good, house slave. It's all good. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another For Life video. If you're new, if you love For Life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today I will be talking about For Life, episode seven. This is just a quick review of last night's episode, um, a quick review, and I was just talking about some of the, you know, some of the key points in the last episode. Now, to me, you know, first impressions of the episode is this. I feel like this episode was more of a filler episode than anything. Um, last week's episode was the best episode, um, in my opinion, this whole season of For Life. Um, now, this episode seemed like a filler. Um, it didn't really seem like a lot was really going on. Um, the main storylines that we really wanted to see, they kind of, you know, brushed around it. They didn't really give us what we probably thought was going to happen. Based off the trailers, I mean, we was thinking... At least I was thinking we was going to see a little bit more of Cash's play by 50 Cent. Um, I thought we were going to see a little bit more of his character in this episode, which we really didn't at all. We got like a one scene with him. Um, we didn't see his character like that at all in the episode. And I wanted to know more about that storyline and what was going to happen with that. Um, your boy Aaron was not able to get anything with his case. Um, now, Marie... And Darius, they go and they talk to, you know, Mike and they end up getting some information. Not at first, but, you know, your boy Mike end up giving Darius some information about an old case about the Angelo Torres character. And we find out that this guy was a liar. Um, he's, he lied on the other on an old case that was thrown out in the past. But the crazy part is when it's time for Angelo Torres to come and actually be brought to the witness stand this guy doesn't even show up they cannot find him and we already know what time it is man they're not trying to let aaron do anything and as i told you guys in the past it's crazy how aaron can help all these other inmates you know what i'm saying with their cases and everything like that but every time it comes to his case it's always something man he can never catch a break when it comes to his case he always gets close and then all of a sudden they come back and hit him with the hammer you know what I'm saying? Maskins and Odell, um, not Odell, but O'Reilly. They're not about to sit up here and let this dude do anything. It's crazy, man. Like, it happens all the time. Um, I was really hoping that we would see this Angelo Torres dude pop up, but he didn't. Like, really? Like, come on. I mean, besides that, your boy Aaron was able to help another inmate out, help this inmate get married um, to his wife, and she was dying of cancer. Very sad. But besides that, we really didn't get to see a whole lot of, you know, progress, in my opinion. Yes, we did see Foster, um, you know, in this episode. He was very scared because we know that Cassius, he sent those boys to a spot last episode. So this dude was shaking the whole episode. And it seems like what Foster wants to do in the other guard is just to let things um, escalate between Wild Bill and in caches they want things to explode and y'all saw if if y'all haven't seen the um trailer to the next episode it seems like it's going to be a fight between caches and uh wild bills um gang or whatever it's about to get crazy in the next episode put it like that i feel like this episode was more of a filler not a lot of action really happened this episode um next week's episode based off the trailer it seems like it's going to pick right back up and that's episode Eight. Now, one last thing I will say in this episode that I did see happen was your boy Aaron end up just, you know, agreeing to divorce Marie. Now, he ended up talking to the inmate's wife that was dying of cancer. And she told Aaron, like, look, man, she wish she didn't wait 13 years for, you know, her to finally marry her husband. She wish she would have did it differently. If she can go back, she would do it differently. And Aaron started to really think about that. Like, man, it's been nine years and he's been holding on to these divorce papers for so long. Marie's dad came in there and talked to him the last episode. He's been really thinking about it. Like, man, Marie could have probably did a lot more with her life um, without me holding on to her and dragging her down. So Aaron finally, you know, agreed to, you know, 
get those divorce papers up. He's going to finally let her live her life. But we're going to see exactly what happens. As of right now, it does seem like Marie is happy with Darius. But we know Marie still has that love for Aaron. Like I told you guys, what's going to happen when Aaron gets out? Which we know is probably not going to be that long from now. How will Marie and Darius's relationship be once that does happen? One thing I will say is this, Darius, as much as I don't like his character, he did step up to the plate and he did help out your boy Aaron in this last episode. Sad thing is, it didn't really matter because your boy Angelo Torres was nowhere to be found. Like, really? Like, come on. Like, he's nowhere to be found. Like I told you guys, every time Aaron, he gets the one up on somebody, they always come back and just shut him straight down. Um... And I'm getting sick and tired of it, man. But it picks right back up in episode eight. I will be doing my what to expect um, soon. So we're going to talk about that trailer because based off that trailer, man, it's looking like this next episode is going to be fire. It's like they took a break. This episode gave us episode six, which was crazy. Episode seven, you know what I'm saying? They kind of calmed it down a little bit. And then episode eight, I think it's going to pick right back up. Um, you guys let me know, man. What do you think of for life? episode seven did you like it um did you believe it was more of a filler episode i just felt like something was missing i mean it was some information but nothing really major like that i mean you know none of the major storylines really opened up in my opinion like that but that's just me you guys let me know what you think about it leave your theories comments everything down below and i will catch y'all on the next one but let me get on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace